And now we are going to listen to the last bit of material we have from Asamune. This is his sequel, Too Young to Die, Too Drunk to Live. <laughs> oh, we haven't seen him drunk yet, I don't think. Oh yeah, that's right, we did that once when he talks about <laughs> cutting somebody up. Okay. Uh, so let's see if it's a true sequel or it's going to be something in the middle. After the demons had disappeared, this time we had to fight humans to protect our nation. Okay, so it's a true sequel. But, even if I'd said fight, we didn't have enough horses left to do that. The men and soldiers had decreased. We didn't even know if we would last through winter. It would be better if we surrendered to one, another, to one of the other nations. Vassals started coming out and talking like that. However, Masamune changed their outlook on it. For the time being, we should tell the other nations that the demons had disappeared. We'll take proper measures during that time. Everything started moving thanks to his words. The vassals even went out to, to the nation's borders and pretended to be demons. <laughs> oh, so wait, we weren't supposed to tell. Sorry, wait. Da, da, da. For the meantime being, we should tell the other nations that the demon... What? It's He said we should tell them. Oh, well. Even if we actually didn't tell them and we're going to pretend to be demons, okay? During that time, we took measures against the Shogunate in various ways. A few months later, our nation had somehow been able to stay the same. Masamune had really become the lord of our nation. Everyone thought of him as our king, and thought he would eventually marry me to actually do so. In order to marry me, he'd want to make great accomplishments again. He'd done so in a few months, but... <sighs> What's wrong, princess? Why are you sighing like that? Oh, n no, it's nothing really, nothing. I waved my hand back and forth to the handmaid who was worried about me. Uh, I haven't had any cuddle time in a long time, I'm guessing. That wasn't exactly true, but I couldn't say it. Sometimes I wanted to be doted on, embraced, and kissed at least once. We'd finally decided to get married, but after that one night, he never paid attention to me. Well, he did say we were never going to sleep together again until after we were married. And like I said, do we have to wait that long? That was why I kept thinking about it. <sighs> Everyone had already thought of him as the feudal lord, but Masamune still hadn't married me. Now was the time to strengthen our foothold. We had to be careful not to slip up. We talked about it and decided that. We decided that, but... You really do look depressed. If you're worried about something, tell me about it. If there's something I can do to help, I'll strive to do it. <sighs> Say... What do you think of Masamune? The handmaid glanced at me. He's a fantastic person, and it looks like he cherishes you very much. You really think so? Yes. But sometimes I don't know if he is truly in love with me or not. The handmaid bent her head slightly. Oh, why is that? Masamune is so out of it. He's out of it? For example, can you imagine him getting jealous? Oh... It seems like the handmaid understood what I was talking about. She looked far off and nodded. It's true. Oh, it's true that I can't criticize Masamune's kindness and reliability. But I think everyone should have one or two flaws in them. What, we want him to be flawed? Yet, I can't find a single thing bad about him. It annoys me. Well, he hasn't been paying attention to me. That's a flaw. Princess, in the end, you're just praising him, aren't you? No, you're wrong. It's not like that. After shaking my head, though... I changed my mind. No, it's true I'm a little proud that he's like that. At any rate, there was no way I could praise him publicly. Even an outsider would notice that we'd mutually loved each other if I did that. However, it was a secret that we'd already crossed the line once before. Well, it's not like I don't understand. A man is easier to deal with if he has a weakness. Right? I think it's better if he'd had at least one flaw, something we could exploit. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to hold my ground. Yep, we want to exploit something. Like if he was scared of caterpillars. <laughs> like a certain someone from Code Realize. <laughs> Tone deaf. <laughs> or had a low tolerance to alcohol. <laughs> oh. What is it? I just remembered something. Some time ago, Kotaro. Kotaro? The handmaid looked confused. Oh no. Excluding Masamune, the men that had been summoned by the dagger had already returned to their worlds. None of the vassals had, re none of the vassals had remembered them. 
Um, a little birdie told me that Masamune had a low tolerance for li to liquor. Does he really have a low tolerance? I have a feeling that was what I heard. Oh my. Well, there you have it. That's a magnificent weakness. She giggled. I want to see Lord Masamune drunk as well. There are many types of drunk people. Angry drunks, merry drunks, and many more. Oh. And that was that. After the sunset, I stealthily walked on the new hall the new hallway that had been built. I had a bottle of alcohol in my hand and went toward Masamune's room. I'd come to Masamune's room and looked around. I made sure no one was around and whispered into his room. Masamune! Masamune! That voice? Is that you, princess? The door quickly opened. What's wrong? It's late, you know. Let me in, quickly! Uh, huh? I snuck into his room and immediately closed the door behind me. I think this is gonna backfire because he's gonna- Well, maybe not backfire, but he's gonna get drunk and then he's gonna come on to me because he can't hold himself back. Unexpected things do happen, I suppose. I never thought you'd sneak over here this late. Did you want to be doted on? Yes! You should have been doing that earlier! I shouldn't have to come here for that! He whispered into my ear, and I instinctively became red. Without thinking, I jumped back and showed him the liquor bottle. N no I got my hands on some good alcohol, and I thought you might want some. Alcohol? Yes. You drink, don't you, Masamune? I... well... but... but can you drink that, princess? Probably, but I've never drunken a lot before. In actuality, I'd had sips of alcohol during holidays, but I didn't have much experience. That's why I wanted to actually try drinking alcohol. If I'm with you, then I'll be fine, even if I get drunk, right? Yes. It looked like Masamune had thought for a second, but then nodded. You bought it all the way over here, so let's have a drink. Really? Yeah, but if you don't feel good, make sure to stop drinking. Okay. I made sure to smile and nod, and look docile on the outside. <laughs> My mission for today was to see Masamune drunk. I had a chance to see a different side of him if he got drunk. He might even tell me things that he'd never usually say. For that purpose, I had to make sure Masamune got drunk before me. I'm so excited! A little while later, I had a cup in my hand and was confused. This is strange. He's not the least bit drunk yet. In front of me was a delicious snack Masamune had made in the kitchen. We chit-chatted while he was... While we continued to drink, I didn't have a moment to lose. You have a high tolerance, princess. Do I really, or am I dropped dead drunk already? Yeah, I was just thinking that too. My body felt warm, but I didn't feel particularly different. I don't even know why myself. I guess I can really handle my liquor. Did she bring water accidentally instead or something? <laughs> you can too, can't you, Masamune? Hmm? <laughs> Masamune tilted his head. His face wasn't even the slightest bit red. You're stronger than I thought. I'm a little disappointed. Why is that? Across from me, Masamune had a wry smile on his face. He's doing something here. There's some trickery going on. Well, I wanted to see you drunk. Why? If you got drunk, I thought I could find your weakness. Oh? Wait, was I actually drunk? When I looked at Masamune's usual face... I got extremely angry. I mean, you're always so out of it. I can never see any of your weaknesses. Hmm. It always looks like you don't even have a single weakness. Really? Yes. Sometimes I get worried because you're always so calm and composed. I'm your wife, and yet ever since that day, you always acted like nothing had happened. What? You were worried about something like that? We can fix that. Yeah, got a problem with that? I had become very desperate. For example, if I was courted by someone, I bet you, would get, you wouldn't even get jealous. I ended up thinking about things like that. Hmm. Masamune stayed silent after that. After spitting that out, I started to feel sick. Masamune was kind and faithful to me. That should have been enough, but why had I thrown a tantrum and done something stupid like this? I'm sorry. I said something stupid. With my cup in hand, I hung my head in shame, and Masamune suddenly stood up. He plopped down next to me. 
Masamune? I swear. As he spoke, he took my cup and rubbed my head. Huh? I swear, you say such cute things, princess. Excuse me? His tone was a little different than it was normally. And he was being loud. W wait Masamune, if you speak like that, if you speak loud that loudly, the vassals will hear. Jellies? <laughs> yeah, I've eaten those a number of times. N no, no! I wasn't talking about jellies, I was talking about jealousy. Especially the neighboring country's engagement. That really scared me. Uh, um, yeah, that's what I mean by jealousy. One of the neighboring countries had proposed an engagement for me. He was probably talking about that. Masumune hugged my shoulders and rubbed his cheek on mine. I swear, you don't even know how worried I, I had been at that time. Even though... I even thought about overthrowing their entire household. <laughs> Aww. Uh, uh, how dangerous. You don't even have a clue, princess. But that's what makes you so cute. Uh, he had to be drunk by now. His face was now red. Masamune whispered in my ear with his deep voice. He's actually blushing? I don't know if we've ever seen him blush before, it's just so faint. Or if this is the first time he's blushed. Princess. Y yes I've made up my mind. I'm not letting you go tonight. <laughs> huh? He wasn't going to let me leave. In other words, he wanted to do that. My heart started pounding. Masamune put his face closer to me. Geez, it had been such a long time since I'd seen his face so closely. I was so happy. I was absorbed in emotion and closed my eyes. Masumune covered me, and I felt his weight on me. Just like that, we got on the floor. How troubling. I have to get back to my room before morning. This is bad. Even though we'd already crossed the line, to the public, my body was still pure. While I thought about that, Masumune didn't move at all. Ugh. <sighs> M Masamune, um... Um, I'm not against it, but, well... Say something! <laughs> Masamune, did he fall asleep? Gah? Gah? I opened my eyes. <laughs> While he fallen on top of me, Masamune was sound asleep. Huh? What? When I looked at his carefree face, anger started to rise inside of me. It got me all worked up for nothing. Jeez, if you're going to sleep, say something first. Without thinking, I sent Masamune flying. <laughs> I'm pretty strong. The next day... Ow, ow, ow. Masamune was lying face down on his futon, and he held his head as he groaned. You really have low tolerance to alcohol, don't you? Next to him, I poured medicine into a bowl inside. Jeez, if you have a low tolerance, say something. I wouldn't have made you drink so much. It didn't show on your face, so I had no idea. He frowned and took the teacup. Oh, I don't like showing my weaknesses. Oh, then you were pretending not to be drunk. Masamune smiled faintly. Yeah, I didn't want to show the girl I loved something shameful. Jeez. I couldn't scold him after hearing him say that. On the contrary, my face got hot. In other words, just like any normal person, I have my own flaws and weaknesses. I do get jealous as well. My jealousy might actually be stronger than normal people's. After Masamune had looked up at me and smiled, he immediately held his head again. Ow, ow, ow! Come now, drink the medicine! Oh, I'll drink it. I'll drink it, but can't you do anything about the bad taste? You mean, like, feed it to you from mouth to mouth? They... They say good medicine is bitter. Don't act like a spoiled child. Oh. Masamune had a sour expression on his face. I found one more of his weaknesses. He didn't like medicine. <laughs> the end. Aww. Well, we found two weaknesses. <laughs> Alright, on to the date scenario. Hey, he actually, that sequel was longer than most of the other guys got. I think the writers liked Masamune. Brave New World. It was a peaceful day with no demons in sight. Well then, today we're going to have a listening cooking. 
You're gonna let me try again? Okay, master. I stood up tall and spoke. Today I'd entered the kitchen with Masamune. He was going to teach me how to use a kitchen knife. I rolled up my sleeves and was well prepared. Masamune looked at me and nodded with confidence. Have you held a kitchen knife before, princess? Nope, never. <laughs> was this So this was the first time we tried to teach me the dice and everybody got scared? <laughs> when I'd answered, the people around me giggled. The servants thought I was funny. You hold it like this. Like this? I tried holding it like Masamune said. Yes, now try cutting the skin off that radish. Okay. I put the radish on the cutting board and faced it. I glared at the radish. As if I was facing a demon. Let us conquer this task. My ambition here. And I raised the knife with one hand and in one flash. Yeah! I cleaved the radish into two. Aren't we supposed to be peeling it, not cutting it? <laughs> I felt like the mood around me had changed, but I didn't let it get to me. Huh? I can't take it out. I groaned as I forced the knife out of the cutting board it was stuck in. I raised the knife again one more time. I changed my posture. I threw the knife down to cut off the tip and... I swung. <laughs> the kitchen knife went down. Stop. <laughs> oh. I'm stopping. I tried to stop. I tried to... I can't stop myself. I tried to stop after hearing Masamune's words, but it was too late. I couldn't stop it now. Oh, huh? The knife lost its force, but it still pierced the cutting board. It grazed the radish's skin, and the radish flew up, hit the wall, and fell to the floor. Jeez, I messed up because you suddenly stopped me. I put my hand on my waist and glared at Masamune. He had a <laughs> complex expression on and spoke. He spoke like, what the hell's wrong with this girl? Just tell me to do it gently. Uh, princess. Yes? It's good you thought about cutting the radish before peeling the skin. Right? However, it's not a good idea to peel, peel it while it's laying on the cutting board. Huh? Really? You really don't know anything about cooking. Masamune spoke calmly and grabbed the remaining radish. You put the radish in one hand and the knife in the other and then peel. You don't cleave it. What? It would be dangerous to peel the radish while holding it, wouldn't it? Comparing it to your performance just now, I don't think it would be the least bit dangerous. Uh, I don't know if I hold it and pierce it that, you know, slice it that ardently, I think I would probably hurt myself. What? But with the radish in your hand, you can't cleave it with the knife. <laughs> can't we just show? You, you gotta show her. Just do it in front of her so she sees. Am I wrong? It's my fault for not showing you how to do it beforehand. Exactly. You peel it like this. Masamune held the radish in one hand and the knife in the other. He lightly cut the skin. The skin came off in a long strip as thin as paper. It continued to get longer. Wow, you're so amazing, Masamune. Anyone who works in the kitchen can easily do this much. Whoa, everyone is so amazing. I looked around the kitchen praising everyone, but for some reason they just smiled and stood stiff. No, princess. Try for yourself. Put the radish in one hand and the knife in the other. I got it. But before that, I put my hands on the kitchen knife that had been stuck in the cutting board. First, I had to get this out. Hmm, you're right. Oh no, I can't get it out. It looks like it went in too deep. Well, let Masamune do it. He should be able to. Masamune, I'll pull the knife, so can you hold down the cutting board? Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Ugh. It won't come out. Don't give up. Let's try one more time. Okay. Okay, master. One, two, three. Why are you have we taken the call on the master? Uh, uh, excuse me. Suddenly, a servant bowed down on the ground. Then all the other people in the room started to bow as well. W what is it all of a sudden? Princess, please, I beg you, leave the kitchen work to us. Please, I humbly ask you to forgive us. <laughs> in the end, everyone ganged up on me and threw me out of the kitchen. It was just too unbearable to watch. Come on, give me a second. They're all so mean. I muttered to myself as I watched a butterfly in the courtyard. 
If I'd practiced a little more, I was sure I could do it. I tried to... I tried again, uh, I tried asking them again, but they told me Nobunaga had entrusted them with the kitchenware. They couldn't afford to break them. Nobunaga could have killed people if I got the, if I had gotten injured. Uh, was I really that dangerous? <laughs> well, somewhat. Masamune? Masamune sat next to me. He had bought a bowl filled with vegetables. What's that? I borrowed a grinding mortar. Since you can't use a kitchen knife, I thought you should try this. A grinding mortar? You use it to crush sesame seeds and make, thi and make things into a paste. Masamune skillfully showed me how to crush sesame seeds in the mortar. The fragrant smell lightly spread into the surrounding area. Do you want to try? I nodded and took the mortar. I'd remember what Masamune had done. I grabbed the pestle and... <laughs> oh, are we being too aggressive again? Huh? What had happened? Did I break it? The sesame seeds <laughs> flew out of the mortar every time I moved the past pestle. Hey, Masamune, why isn't it working? Like, like when you've done it. Masamune? <laughs> I looked, and Masamune was on the floor trying to contain his laughter. My face suddenly became scarlet. I mean, she must be, like, stirring it instead of crushing it. Oh, you don't have to laugh at me that much, do you? I, I was just copying what you were doing. Uh, okay, I got it. Sorry for laughing. He'd said that, but there was a tear coming out of his eye. You're still laughing! It's okay, don't pout. He lightly hit my... <laughs> he lightly hit my head and finally finished laughing. You can do it, just go slowly. I'll be patient and teach you. You should do what you can. If you can't do something, I'll help you. That way, you can make something delicious, okay? <sighs> like I said, don't get so depressed. Okay. He was right. Even if I was a little bad at it, we could split the tasks between us. I felt relieved after hearing him say that. If we could make a delicious meal like he'd said, I would be ecstatic. I'll do my best, Masamune. I'll be able to cook just like, just like I learned how to use a bow and arrow. Yeah, that's the spirit. Masamune smiled and nodded. Here, I'll use the mortar and pestle. Can I entrust you with the- Oh, it's him, sorry. Here, I'll use the mortar and pestle. Can I entrust you with this? Well, just let me try the mortar and pestle. Let me try things. You can't just let me try once and give up. A leak? Yeah, you can peel this without using a knife. Okie dokie. I took the leak and happily started to peel the skin off. If it was something small, I could do it little by little. Masamune was grinding the sesame seeds, which made a wonderful smell. The sky was clear and the butterflies were fluttering majestically. A mountain of skin piled at my feet. The leak in my hand got thinner and thinner. Hey, Masamune. He replied without taking his eyes off the mortar and pestle. Hmm? How much skin is on this thing? He lifted his head and looked at my hand. He looked at the ground and saw the leak skins. <laughs> <laughs> He started to laugh magnificently. Okay, I thought a leek was a green onion, you know, spring onion, which is the long- I don't- I don't quite understand that scenario, now I gotta look that up because... <laughs> well, if anybody else is watching, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but Jenny knows what I'm talking about. The, the leeks, you know, spring onions, the long things that dad would cook and stuff. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I don't know how that could happen. <laughs> like I said, I gotta look that up now. Ah, I'll talk to you about it next time. <laughs> Well, that's all we have for Masamune. Next time I talk to you alone, it will be Yukimura. So, we don't have too much longer to go with Destiny's Princess. But I will see you soon, and I hope you're feeling better. Bye-bye!